All right, guys, it is a beautiful day in the bluegrass. I mean, it is a super duper beautiful day. And we're on our way to the lake to do some kayaking and barbecuing. We're gonna take these little puppies along, acclimate them to riding in the boat and swimming and stuff. And, you know, I got to thinking, I've, uh, I've done a lot of videos where, like, uh, you see me acclimate dogs to the creek or the river or the lake, you know, and you can see them swimming from the top, but it's not real obvious what their legs are doing. You know, and I thought uh, it'd be a, kind of a cool thing to do to make a video where we showed you like uh, what a puppy looks like when they first get in the water. Luckily, <laughs> yesterday was a momentous occasion at the dentist household, and this is going to work out perfect because my wife has always been after me to get her a pool. So I was telling Eli yesterday, I was like, let's, let's make Amy's dreams come true. So we loaded up in... Uh, the trailer and uh, went up to Southern States and we got my wife this fancy pool. <laughs> so she has nothing to complain about now. She has a pool and uh, it's full of water and we're all happy. And as a side benefit, you guys are gonna get to see how a puppy gets acclimated to water. It's gonna be a pretty simple process. First thing I do is I station me a lifeguard in here because uh, like I don't wanna have to dive in there after that puppy and I want somebody to help me, right? And what do I normally do? I just get in the water with them, right? But today, I thought I would delegate that to my ace life uh, guard, George. Now I'm going to get me a little puppy over here. Come here, Finley. Oh, George, turn your camera on, buddy. Uh, and my lifeguard is also going to be uh, in charge of getting the underwater footage. So if this video ends up being made and there's no underwater footage, you guys can direct all your negative comments towards <laughs> my lifeguard here. All right, so what we're going to do, Oh, we're going to take... There's a little dog here. Oh, Finley. Oh my gosh. Now Finley's owner is a fancy pool builder down in Nashville. <laughs> and uh, he saw me post uh, this, uh, my new pool on, uh, on Facebook yesterday and he wasn't impressed. But I think his dog's impressed, so uh, it all, it, it's all gonna come out in the wash. All right, so what's wrong there, cameraman? You can't figure out how to work the camera? Let me see it. There we go, got it. Okay, you got it? Yeah. All right, so here comes Finley. Oh my gosh. Let me hold her in place here. I'm going to hold her so that uh, George, bring your camera up a little bit, George, towards the edge of the water. Okay, Eli, I'm going to get over this way so the people, you try to get, get out of the way a little bit there, George. Look here what I'm doing. Just holding this puppy in place. I'm hoping this is coming on the camera so you guys can see what's going on. Oh, look, now she's off. Oh, and she'll want to try to get out. That's okay. It's a new sensation for her. She doesn't really understand what's going on. There you go. And all I'm doing, just like you do with a baby, I'm just helping her learn to stay afloat and to move her little paws. The swimming action, guys, is, is it's real normal to the dog. So once they get acclimated to the dog, the locomotion comes right out of that. Uh, it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably be able to see that she's basically, <laughs> she's basically just like sitting there now. She's relaxed. Oh, and look, this other dog wants a turn. All right. So I'll take the leash off of Finley and I'm going to give Pippa a turn. Now, Pippa's a little older. Now, when you, when you, when you introduce things to an older dog, uh, a lot of times their reaction, come here, their reaction will be a little bit, you know, more pronounced so like uh, you gotta be a little bit more patient so let's do the same thing though I'm basically gonna pick Pippa up and I'm gonna put her in here and uh, hopefully we can get some footage of what her legs are doing in here and uh, uh, I'm just gonna kind of hold her in place like you do a little kid oh. now it's important to understand that I'm not I'm not really holding her up too much. I'm just, just like you're spotting a, somebody's lifting weights. Just giving her a little extra help. Just helping with her buoyancy. And you see at first she'll want to think, oh my gosh, I don't know what this sensation is. So I want to get out. And that's okay. I'm going to let her out. But I'm going to let her out after she's been calm and quiet. Here, I'm going to turn her around here. You can see her face. Look guys. And it's not too deep. Just deep enough for her to get calm and quiet. Look, she's getting calmer and quieter. Now all I gotta do is keep her away from that edge. When her feet hit the ground, 
that's when she starts thinking about being able to get up and out. So I just keep her buoyant. Good. Just give her a little bit of time here. Let me turn her away from the edge again. So look how, see she's floating guys. Ain't that neat? I hope you can see that under the water. Oh, it's so neat. That is awesome. All right, now that's enough. Oh, I'm gonna pull her out. Oh! I'm gonna go back to this other one. Now this isn't a necessary step in acclimating your dog to, uh, you know, going swimming, but man, it helps and it's fun. And I'm really hoping you guys are gonna be able to see like that underwater view there. I don't know if it's gonna work out perfectly. Oh, come here, nerd. Oh, so let's get them back in here. We're just trying to make them understand how being buoyant feels. Turn her around to the front so you can see. See how she has a natural tendency to want to get to that edge there. That's what you'll run into. It doesn't matter whether it's a river or the lake or whatever. They'll get out in the water and uh, like as soon as they get over their head, they'll start panicking a little bit. And sometimes their feet will come out of the water and start beating the water. I've got a few videos with labs where you can see them. The, they're a little bit older and they weren't introduced properly to water at a young age. And so they, uh, uh, so they beat the water with their feet like this here. See, look. Right, okay, that'll all go away as the dog gets more properly acclimated to maintaining, oh, its position relative to the water. So I'll just hold its back end up just a little bit here. Good, there we go. Now look, now we got floating. Very nice. I'm gonna spin her around. Oh, that's perfect. Look, now she's calming down. You can really tell the respiration rate when they're upset will get real high. And as they start to get more calm, oh, they'll relax. Oh, you see that little bit of panic there where she's like close to the edge? I'm just gonna help her relax. Notice I'm staying calm during this whole process. Oh, good girl. Now when she calms down, I'm gonna help her turn, good. And I'm gonna get her out, oh, but I'm gonna get her out after she calms down. I don't want her to think, oh, that panicking or trying hard leads to anything good. I just want her to relax. Oh, let's spin the other way. Very nice, starting to calm down. Oh, very nice. See, and I'm just spotting her, just like you spot a gymnast or a person lifting weight. Now she's perfectly calm, which is awesome. And, oh, I'm gonna get her out. All right, now. Let's see where Pippa is, and maybe we'll do one more. Oh, well, she's right here. Maybe we'll do one more repetition with Pippa, and then we're gonna load up our kayaks, and we're going to the lake. <clears throat> All right, so let's see if we can show the people what you look like. Ah, let's see right there. She says, oh, I don't know if I wanna be in there. That's okay. I understand that feeling. Same thing when I was a kid. I didn't know if I wanted to go swimming or not. <laughs> when I was a kid though, I didn't get this nice treatment. <laughs> I had a guy that had, had too much beer just pick me up and chuck me in the pool. And uh, then whenever I would come to the side, they would just push me away. It was one of those sink or swim kind of deals. But luckily, I am a kinder, gentler human being. Now look at this, starting to relax. That's what I want to see, nice and relaxed behavior. Good. Oh. There you go, make sure we're, there we go, good. Good dog, supporting her, spotting her, helping her understand what's going on. Let me spin her one more time so we can get a front view of her feet and stuff. It's very nice. Oh, very nice dog. Oh, don't jump out. See, I'm not gonna let her out for jumping out. Oh, I'm gonna make her get nice and calm and quiet. And then when her respiration rate gets low again, good girl, real calm. Oh, then I'm gonna let her out. All right. All right, good job lifeguard, good job cameraman. Let's go to the lake, do some good dog training. Woo. Continuing with our theme of an awesome day in the bluegrass, we have made it down to uh, one of the best kept secrets uh, in the central Kentucky area, which is Cave Run Lake. If you get a chance, you definitely gotta come down here and uh, check it out. Okay guys, I've got my mentor dog, uh, Henry out there in the water and I got my lifeguard George just in case myself or these puppies get in trouble and uh, What we're gonna do is just continue on the theme We were putting them in my wife's new pool earlier and getting them used to being in the water And uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and get them used to swimming in an actual lake 
And uh, once I get them out here and get them going pretty good, we're going to bring the kayak into play. And uh, I've already acclimated them to being, you know, on the kayak in my yard. And I've tried to do my very best to make them understand that when they're on the kayak, it can be real, uh, you know, real unstable. And so we've tried to spend some time building confidence, uh, making them understand that if they move their body properly, they can maintain their position relative to the kayak. And now it's just a matter of uh, letting them see what Henry's doing and going out here and having a good time. Now, of course, I've got my long lines on them. I like these orange long lines so I can see them. And look, is that not awesome? Okay, Georgie, walk around with Henry and let those puppies follow you. <laughs> this is what's awesome, guys. This is what makes being a dog trainer a good job. <laughs> now look at little Finley there. She's gonna go back there and say, I'm gonna get me a little break from swimming, get in the shallow. Oh, what you doing, Finley? You're so smart. Oh, you're so smart. Now, this is why I have a handle on them. See, Finley starts getting away. She doesn't know where she's going. So I can use my handle to gently get her moving back in the right direction. I can let her go over there and get a break from swimming by getting back to the shallow part. But I can stop her from going to the bank. You know, guys, when you take your dogs out, it's really important to have a handle on them. We were just up there on the, on, on the bank and uh, there's a bunch of fish bones up there. And uh, so these puppies automatically, what do they want to do? They want to eat fish bones. Well, I don't want to fuss at them. We're having a great day at the lake. You know, we're accomplishing a lot. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to bring any negative vibes into our session. So I just use my handle to keep them from getting themselves in trouble. See, I can control these dogs real easily. Good, and since my long lines are orange, I don't lose them. You know, as you get older, guys, you'll see that you need brighter colors. You ever notice that old people like bright colors? Well, that's because you can't see as good as you used to. So these guys are out here, and they know it's okay to be out here because Henry's out here. That's the value of having a good uh, mentor dog. And then Henry feels secure because I have a good lifeguard. <laughs> It's a uh, system redundancy, guys. System redundancy. That's what we're after. Now, look at Finley. She's decided she's going to try to get away. <laughs> and I'm just going to hold her there and say, nope, let's get another repetition in. Oh, and Pippa's, you can't go anywhere. Now, Pippa's already decided she's going to hold her leash. Now, I'm just going to kind of walk around, make sure I don't get too deep and mess up my microphone. Come on, Pippa. Very nice. Okay, then I'm going to go this way. Just general acclimation here, guys. Oh, very nice. Perfect. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Now I'm gonna walk back up to the bank. Good. Georgie, keep up with these puppies for a second while I bring my kayak into play. Let them stay up here in the shallow area so they can stand and get a rest. When you're working with your long leash, guys, it can be a little bit aggravating. You know, sometimes you gotta spend a little bit of time getting it oh untangled oh that's okay uh, the long leash is worth its weight in gold so if it takes a little bit of untangling now and again don't worry about it okay keep them up here in the shallow George while I go get the kayak Now, I am no kayak expert, guys. No kayak expert at all. But uh, I can tell you this, I've had this Hobie kayak. Uh, I have a pair of them, actually. I've had them for years, and they have been awesome. So I would wholeheartedly recommend for dog training adventures or fishing, uh, Hobie kayaks. You set in them, and you got a little steering mechanism, and you have a, uh, a, a, a pedal drive. You just pedal them, so it's awesome. All right. So, I'm going to take one of these little dogs. Give me one of them dogs, Georgie. Come on, little dog. Oh. So, we'll take Finley. Oh, we're just going to put her in the kayak. Good dog. I'm going to move her around. Good. It's perfectly okay for Finley to be a little bit worried. I'm just going to stay up here with her. It's very important that I set the emotional tone 
for our training experience. So I got to be calm and cool and collected. And look, you see this kayak's just kind of moving around. Just going to turn it. Georgie, undo my long lines there. They're kind of... The kayak, sometimes if they've been sitting in the sun, guys, will be a little hot. Splash some water on them, cool them off. Good. You don't need to be in very deep water to do this. Good. Very nice. Move her away. Move her towards me. Move her towards Eli. Whoa! Look, ain't that awesome? Look how easy that is. Oh, and look who else wants to come over here. Come on, I'll help her up in here. Oh my gosh! Oh, now we have two puppies in a kayak. Look at that. Now this, guys, this is real fun. And not only is it real fun, but it's real awesome dog training, you know? Oh, Finley's gonna fall off, so I'm gonna put her in the deep part of the kayak. Get over here. Good. You'll see when you first start having them riding a the kayak, they'll kind of like have their feet like this. When you know you're ready to, how you know you're ready to actually start riding in the kayak with them is when their posture is real relaxed. You can kind of look at their feet. Their feet will be like this, like trying to grip. They don't need that, that doesn't help them. After a while, they'll just set up here, just like normal, and this movement won't bother them. And that's when you know everything is perfect. Good, they'll just kind of settle down. And then once they settle down, you just take off and go on your adventure. Very nice, very nice. All right, so let me move them back around this way a little bit. Uh, so we're going to spend a few more time for a few more minutes doing this, getting them acclimated, and uh, then we're going to get them in the kayak and we're going to pedal off on a big adventure. All right, see you in a second. Let these fine people out in YouTube world see what a beautiful state that we live in. All well, these puppies are having a good time. Might use them for musky bait later. And see guys, really, like look, all the dog trainer does is get your dogs to where they, uh, you know, mind well enough so that you can take them out and uh, have some real life adventures with them. The real life adventures is always going to be what uh, actually does the teaching, you know? Uh, you know. I try to never act like what I do is so important, you know. I just uh, remove impediments, right? So whatever it is that's standing in the way of you and your family getting out and enjoying uh, spending time with your dog, you know, that's what I try to fix. That's it, you know. Just try to make having a dog a fun experience. Try to get dogs to come and to be still and to have good manners. Well, hello George, how are you doing? And see, so there's George. George, I want George to have a good time. And uh, <laughs> he's messed up his feet, he's messed up his paddle board there or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to go out and away from George. <laughs> you better go fix your seat before you drown. And you need a life jacket, dude. Now see, since these puppies, you know, they have good manners, they've been properly acclimated to being in the kayak, they trust me. Well, we can get right out here, guys, and do nothing but have fun. And that's really what I want for all you YouTubers. So I want you to get out, live your life, have fun with your dog. If you're having fun, there's going to be a lot of learning happening every time. Lots of learning, you know. Secret agent man. <laughs> and just like that, guys, oh, with a little bit of swimming, a little bit of hanging out with Henry, the wonder mentor dog, oh, a little bit of kayak riding. And what do I end up with? I end up with a tired Pippa and a tired Finley. 
And what do we know about tired dogs? Tired dogs are good dogs, isn't it right, Finley? You know, and that's it, guys. Look, you know, when you're out training your dog, don't get caught up in the little stuff. You know, think about the big stuff. Are you going out? Are you having a good time? Are you making sure that the dog gets to engage in, uh, you know, physically taxing and mentally taxing activities? You know, because if you want a dog to be smart and you want him to be strong and you want him to be healthy, then, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta challenge them when they're young. Get them out, let them have a lot of experiences. Just one day out here on the lake like this, guys, this is worth hours and hours and hours of spending time working on sit and down and heel and all that kind of stuff, you know. I really can't stress to you enough how much faster your dog training will go once you start understanding the concept of uh, adventure training or the concept of learning by doing, you know. We get out and we live life and life is the best teacher. And I try to stress that all the time, you know, people, they'll call me or email me and talk about sending a dog to me. And uh, sometimes they're under the impression that sending a dog to me, you know, the time that I spend with a dog because I'm a special dog trainer is important. No, guys, I'm not a special dog trainer. I'm just a dog trainer that puts the work in, you know. And the kind of work that I put in is fun, adventurous work. And when a dog or a person enjoys their work, then, you know, the quality's going to be there. The quality's always going to be there. And just make sure that you do your yard work you know, before you start going out on your adventures. You know, I have to have a puppy that can walk on a leash. I have to have a puppy that'll come when it's called. I have to have a puppy that can wait patiently while I load and unload the kayaks. You know, all that, yes, I gotta do that, right? That's what we call our yard work. That's what retriever trainers have always called their yard work. And then this is what we call our field work. We're getting out and we're living real life. And real life, like I keep saying over and over and over again, real life is the, is the best teacher every time bar none there's nothing like getting out and living your life right and you get out and you live a good life and you're going to have good results not just with your dog but with your family uh with yourself with your health with your longevity just everything all right get out and move and now i've done a lot of paddling <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this kayak around real fast come by you give you a thumbs up <laughs> and then I'm headed off to the grill to uh, get some burgers and uh, eat some french fries. All right, I'll see y'all next week.